Yo, what's up, my brother from another mother? Yeah, I tend to say that because I know some of you guys don't like it. But anyway, uh, today I'm gonna talk about um, Chanmu charging, all right? So, uh, recently I, b I borrowed this uh, Kia Soul uh, EV. It's a 30 kilowatt hour, this is the latest one. Well, okay, actually, there's one coming with 64 kilowatt hour, but that one is not out yet. But uh, I went to test this, uh, it's a 120 kilowatt uh, fast charger with a Chanamo plug, which supposedly supports more than 50 kilowatt, which most other places has. So um, I used that, uh, the, the, the Soul, I did some tests, I drove all day, I did some noise tests, I did some range tests, do all that stuff, you know, so I was driving all day, so the battery should have been warm. Uh, but then I went home for a couple of hours, uh, had a park in the garage, it was cold, so I think during that time it kind of cooled down a bit. Uh, but then in the evening, I went to Lie, yeah, so it's like 40 kilometers from Oslo, right? A little bit of drive, and I, I, drove, I drove hard, you know, like I drove a speed limit plus VIT, so there should be some nice heat buildup in the battery from that driving. But then uh, when I arrived there, there was this Ampere E charging on that 120 kilowatt fast charge. There's only one of them there uh, from Gurren Kotakt, and the other ones are just st standard uh, 50 kilowatt. So I waited about 15 uh, 15 minutes until he was done. Then he did, he moved, and then I plugged in. And then okay, uh, another thing is that uh, the, the ambient temperature throughout yesterday was around minus five degrees Celsius. It was also around there in uh, at Lie. So I came there with 14% and uh, you see here that um, you know, right away when I plug it in the speed went straight up to 48.5 kilowatt and uh, that is actually slightly higher than it should because at low stellar charge it should be around 45 maybe even 43 kilowatt. So 48.5 is higher than usual. And then um, uh, after a while, it just slowly ramped up until 54 kilowatt at 73 percent. It seems like you know, based on this, when you have the same like the same thing, but the speed slowly ramps up as the voltage goes up. Uh, it kind of tells me that uh, the the current is capped at whatever, and then the voltage goes up. And I guess it should be capped at around 135 amp. And then their standard charger is only cap at 120 so you see this is like barely faster than a standard 50 kilowatt faster it's branded as 100 kilowatt right and uh, normal uh, other places on Fortum or going to talk you pay uh, 2.5 nook per minute whereas on these like they call it a super fast charger or whatever you pay 3.5 nook so you know, I calculated that the, the speed here is only 15% faster uh, but you pay 40% more so it's it's more expensive but of course it charges slightly faster so if you know charging speed is important for you then go for it if you care about the, the price then you should just use the standard 50 kilowatts and uh, well, uh, what I also saw uh, after 73% was there was like a gradual tapering of more like Tesla's and um, IPs uh, unlike Kona, Nero and Ionic there's like a big step boom and then it goes like in steps but here it was it was gradual at a certain point and also based on these numbers I would suggest that you unplug at uh, either 75% or if you want to stretch it go to 80 82% but there was a big dip at 82% it went from 24 kilowatt to 16 kilowatt and at that point I felt like it was going really slow so eventually I interrupted charging first I wanted to go to 94% but Another soul came and I was like, okay, whatever. Uh, so I just ended charging. And also it was interesting because the other soul was the old version with a 27 kilowatt hour battery. And I asked him a little bit. Uh, he said that um, he's been driving from Drammen or whatever. So he didn't drive that far. Let's say he drove like uh, 20 kilometers only. Um, I don't know where he was parking all that, but um, when he plugged in, he had 30% and uh, we saw that um, he got 45 kilowatt, you know? Um, instantly and I was thinking hmm is that the maximum speed uh, actually no because after 10 minutes after he received 10% then he had 50.5 kilowatt so that seems more or less like the, the car I was testing the newer version so it seems like the old version can also support higher speed but again um, we don't know if you know if it goes higher than 50 ish or not so um, yeah um, 
No, no, at, um, so the conclusion from my test is that uh, these so called 100 kilowatt fast chargers, you know, um, seems like you don't get 100 kilowatt. I was hoping for 100 kilowatt, but uh, you only get slightly faster speed. So, uh, in a typical charging session, you only save three minutes. Yeah, it's like it's like uh, 21 minutes versus 24 minutes. It depends how long you want to stay there. But uh, as you've seen with the tapering off, after it starts tapering, then you know you're basically paying extra money for crappy speed anyway. Yeah. So, um, but we don't know in my test if the battery was warm enough because it was kind of cold outside. But um, you know, one indication is that uh, the other guy, after after like three minutes, his battery was warm enough. So, and I stayed there for like I stayed there for half an hour. So during my charging session. The battery should build up enough heat to receive full speed, uh, which it didn't. You know, so of course I can't tell for sure if it's the if the battery wasn't warm enough. But uh, at least I don't have any proof that it can go higher than this. You know, we don't know if it's the charger limiting this or the car. I could try another charger at Nugoskis and see if that one is faster. But I had to ask for them. Uh, this one I tried was Grand Contact. I can ask for them. If that one at Nugoskisa uh, supports, I mean, how many amp does it deliver? You know, um, yeah. But that one doesn't show me the the charging current, whereas this one did show me. So that's why I picked this one. So um, anyway, uh, I think that will be it. Uh, I wonder if you guys have seen higher results on uh, on uh, Seoul because I, I tried to dig for information, but I couldn't find it. Seems like. Seems like many people don't even know that this works or you know that, that it goes slightly higher, but um, yeah. Uh, and I think, well, actually, one last thing I will talk a little bit about is that you know, Chanmo, yeah, the Chanmo plug. Uh, is it is it a dying race, you know? Because um, uh, the new Seoul will have CCS plug, Kia e Niro in Europe will have CCS plug. So, you know, uh, it seems like uh, whatever car that had the Chanmo plug is like moving away from the CCS. I mean, from, from they're moving away from Chanmo going to CCS and also uh, those other, those... Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. All right. <clears throat> um, so, uh, well, I'm, I lost focus there. Yeah, you know that sneezing can hit the 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 velocity of the sneezing can hit 160 kilometers per hour, 100 miles per hour. That is fast. That is faster than most EVs we have tested, except for Tesla. Um, but yeah, um, so I, 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 you know, the, those triplets, you know, the the uh, the Peugeot i the Mitsubishi i and the uh, C Zero. Those those cars also use uh, Chalmo, but they haven't come with any update. It's like the previous generation EVs. So you have those cars and you have Nissan. So uh, from what we've seen, the new Nissan E Plus, the 60 kilowatt hour with Nissan, will have uh, Chalmo, and also uh, ENV 200 has Chalmo. And I think those are the two models left that will still hold on to Chalmo. It seems like Nissan want to hold on to Chalmo because Chalmo is bi-directional. Uh, I heard, I mean, I think the new CCS2 standard is also bi-directional, but I'm not sure if the CCS1 standard is bi-directional. So maybe that's one of the reasons why Nissan chose to stay with Chalmo. And I guess I don't know the whole story behind uh, Chalmo, but I think it was like a joint venture between Nissan and Renault and uh, whatever, you know, to, to use, to, to develop Chalmo. So that's probably why Nissan is still holding on to Chanmo. But the problem with Chanmo is that uh, in Europe, at least, there will be less and less support of Chanmo. Ionity will only add uh, CCS plugs on their charger, and the uh, Ionity charger is growing fast. It's it's the AP, HPC network, which means that it's high power chargers. It's um, you know, 350 kilowatt fast chargers. So the new Leaf will not be able to charge on those chargers, unfortunately, and then. Fortum and Gerard Contact, uh, Fortum will add Chanmo plugs to their HPCs. Uh, so at least you know, that's a good thing, you know, the new Leafs will be able to charge on Fortum, but when they try to take a long trip or when they go other places and they go to places we only have Ionity, they'll be like, ah, shit, we can't shice it, we can't use it, yeah, nine. 
So that's a bit unfortunate. And also, uh, at least in Norway, we will still have the 50 kilowatt fast chargers with existing channel plugs. Uh, but I've seen in Europe, uh, I think it was, uh, was again, Ruden or somewhere in, in Germany. In Europe in general, um, I guess especially in Germany, uh, the Chardemo seemed to be like uh, the underdog there. So I was there was one site that had one Chardemo plug, I mean one charger with Chardemo, and then they had like four or five uh, fast chargers with CCS and Chardemo, or or actually no Chardemo there. So so you know it seems like the Germans want to squeeze out Chardemo and maybe other uh, countries in Europe also. So. Like, is, was it a, a mistake by Nissan to hold on to each other more? I don't know. Um, but yeah, so that is something you, you know, have to um, to be aware of if you still want to buy a Nissan, the new one. Like, uh, you might not be able to charge it everywhere like you can with Ionic, Kona, you know, uh, those other cars that use the CCS. Yeah. But yeah, so um, I, don't know, I think that's it, uh, charging info for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video as always. So thank you for watching and bye bye.